children let us continue this chapter play with patterns here we have a topic secret messages so in this picture you are able to see that yamini has written messages in a secret code what type of messages she has used written and what type of code she has applied for these messages will learn in this topic yamini has used numbers for letters that means for letters a b c d z up to z she has used numbers for us few are written the remaining letters and numbers we will fill up here you can see a is assigned with 1 2 means letter b 3 is c 4 letter d 5 is e so after e what comes f so f will have number 6 so in this way we'll complete a to z Tinu wants to write to his friend good morning. What will he write by using the same rule? Now you can see numbers and letters has been arranged. For each number there is one letter. Using this rule, now we have to write good morning in that order. So for each letter one number has been assigned. So let us write now good morning using numbers g g which number has been assigned for g 7 so i will write here 7 now next i have o o 15 15 one more o one more 15 next d what is the number assigned for d d 4 so i will write here 4 next good we have completed now morning m number for m is 13 so 13 o 15 r 18 and 14 i where is i 9 and again 14 and at last g 7 so here you can see children good morning has been written using numbers now let us see what is written here if we change the rule and write 1 in place of b so in place of b if i write 1 what was before in place of b we were writing 2 so if i change the rule and write 1 in place of b 3 in place of d and so on then how will we write let us dance so let us first change the rule so i have written here a to z according to this question i have to write 1 in place of b so here i have b so here i will write 1 So if I write here one, next will be two, and then three, four, now the rule has changed. One represent B. So now let us write the letter. Let us dance using numbers. First is L. Where is L? L. Number assigned for L is eleven. So I'll write here eleven. Next, E, E, four, four, T, T, nineteen. So I'll write here nineteen. Now S, U, twenty, S, eighteen. Dance, D, three, A. Twenty-six and 
13. So you can see here N 13. C 2. And at last E 4. So we have written let us dance using number. Here we see children more secret messages. Sablu and Jaggu are playing a game. So these two students, they are playing a game. They are writing some secret messages. But Kahuli is not able to understand them. So Jaggu explain the rule. As you can see, they have written some secret messages and it is not easy and possible for us to understand. Now if you want to understand, let us read the rule. Jaggu, you see, we have changed each letter by its next letter. That means G in place of F, O in place of N, so S becomes Z F T. So what they have done, they have changed the letter for the next letter. So let us do that first. And then we will be able to understand. As you can see what they have written, G in place of F. So you can see here F. So in place of F, what I have to write, I have to write G. And O in place of N. So here is N. In place of N, I have to write O. Now let us fill up these letters. Kahuli have understood the <clears throat> rule of secret messages as explained by Jaggu. After understanding, Kahuli has written this message. Now I need to use the rule and find out what is written in this secret message. Let us start. The first letter that she has written is X. Now according to the rule, I have to just replace X with the next letter. So X I will replace by W. F replaced by next letter F replaced by E. V next is B. B replaced by A. S S replaced by R. <coughs> F will be E. That means it is V R. Next G means F. S, R, J will be I, F will be E, O will be N, E will be D, and T will be S. So what was the secret message? We are friends. Next, what did Sablu and Jaggu write? So here you can see <coughs> Sablu has written secret messages here and as well as Jaggu. Now let us find out what they have written. So now we will see the secret message written by these two children. So let us first see what Sablu has written. Here you can see I F M M P I P X B S F Z P B. We are not able to understand these secret messages. Let us use the rule and find out what is written here. I. What will I write in place of I? H. So it will be H. Next, F. Instead of F, I'll write E. 
next m instead of m l so one more m that means one more l p in place of p will write o so here what it is it is hello next i again means h p you need to write o x means w so it is hello how the next word is b s f b means a s where is s s is r and next f that means it is e and the last word is z p v z is y P is O, B is U, and then question mark. It is, what is the first secret message? Message, hello, how are you? Now let us find out what is written in the second secret message. Here we can see X, J, M, M, Z, P, V, Q, M, B, Z, X, J, U, I, and F. Let us start. X. What will I write in place of X? W. Next is J. Where is J? J means I. M, M. What to write in place of M? L. So, 2 times M means L, L. Next is Z means y p where is p p means o b b means u next is q where is q q means p m means l b you need to write a z you will write y next x x will be w j will be i u will be t i will be h next n will be m and last f there is f f will be e and then question mark so what is the message will you play with me so we have written the secret message using the rule first message was hello how are you second message was will you play with me now let us see what Jaggu has written in this two messages. First, G J O F G. What to write in place of G? F J means I O. Then I will write N. Next is F means e that means fine next word u so in place of u in place of u i'll write t next is i in place of i i'll write h b instead of in place of b i'll write a and then o in place of O, N. Next is L. In place of L, I'll write K. And next is Z. Z means Y. P means O. B means U. So the first passage written by Jaggu was fine. Thank you. 
Second message, what is written? Z F T. Z. That means I have to write Y. F means E. And the last T. T means I have to write S. So that means the second message was yes. So this message we need to write in our book. So children, please write the messages written by Sablu and Jango in this place. Next question, use the same rule to write meet me on the moon. So now we have to use the same rule as before and write this message meet me on the moon in a secret message. Let us start. First is M. So when you have M, you need to write next letter. That means N. N. We have now double E. E. So when the next letter E after E is F. So two time I will write F. And then T. The next letter after T is U. Done. Next, M, the next letter after M is N, E will be F, O will be P, N will be O, P will be U, P again, sorry, H, where is H, H will be I, E will be F. Last M and O O. So O will be P. So right here P P. The last letter is N. So in place of N, I'll write O. So using the rule, we have written meet me on the moon in this way. Children, in the next topic we see upside down. Upside down. So here, Anisha is playing. She is showing her friends that she can stand on her head. So this is her standing position. And when she did upside down, this is her position. Now look at this card. How does it look if I do an upside down to this card? So this is an upside down position of a card. The next topic is floor patterns have you ever seen a floor with tiles of this shape i hope most of you have seen tiles of this shape look at this shape very carefully you will find that this shape has been made by continuous repetition of single shapes now you also have to make shape in this chapter so now children you cover this floor with this tile can you see the design of a tile? You have to make tiles and cover this floor and then you have to color. Two different colors are used. So let us make the tiles. Join the dot and make this figure. Join the dot and make the figure in this way. So in this way, children, you will cover this floor with the tile. So children, I have completed the diagram. I have completed the design. Now I will put two different colors. B. Try with this circle green tiles without leaving a gap. So now I have to use this green tile on this floor and cover this floor. So look at this. This circle has one center. So now in the next picture, this circle will have this center. So I'll make the circle. So I did one circle. Similarly, I'll fill up this floor with this uh, circle. Now I have completed the design. Now I have to use green color on this tile. See, complete this tiling pattern. Now you can see this pattern, it has been incomplete. Let us first draw the diagram and then we'll color later on. So by looking at this, I will draw here. So 
So in this way, children, you have to do. So in this children, in this way, children, you will uh, draw the diagram, and then you will use two different colors, as you can see on this uh, pattern. D. Ramaya has made a wall with his blocks. Can you complete these for him? As you can see, it is incomplete. Let us see how we can complete these using these different colors. First, we can see here orange, blue, pink. So orange, blue, pink, orange, blue, pink. So definitely the next will be orange, blue, pink. Following certain pattern. Following this pattern, we will put the colors in the remaining part. E. Renu began to paint this wall. Now you help her to complete it. So you can see it is incomplete. I need to color this the uh, this call this wall. Now look at the color pattern combination. It follows certain pattern: green, yellow, yellow, orange, green, yellow, yellow, orange, green, yellow, yellow, orange. So what will be the next? Green, yellow, yellow, orange. In that way, children, you'll follow the pattern and complete this color on the wall.